shops with some glitter. <laughs> I think that's better. Oh, well, I've been to the shops, as I promised. The Christmas card challenge is on. I never thought I'd be making a Christmas card. I realised, I realised that old, old habits die hard. I went off thinking glitter, glitter. I'm thinking about the end result before I've, before I've even begun. That, that's very much my impatience to crack on. The excitement of a bit of shopping. So I did do a little bit of shopping and I've got a few things I got two or three of those I've got from Hobbycraft some glitter glue clear glue I've got loose I've got biodegradable shaky glitter in black in black and red red and a, not quite the right purple but the best that they had and then in there's a shop called B&M and this was £2.50 for a giant shaker of green. What else have I got? Some foam. I don't know what I think I'm going to do with foam brushes, but they were there. So I thought I'll have a go with those. And oh, big excitement when you get your hands on a brand new concertina. So I have got, I have got in the concertina that... I've been using for landscape. I've got a few pages left, but not many. So uh, it was a really good excuse to pick up a concertina. So you all know concertinas, I don't know why. From time to time I will squeeze, yeah, sometimes I squeeze them back in. So maybe that's a good idea. A lovely fresh concertina, a sea white. I am, obviously going to leave up my landscape part of the wall so what i'm going to do i've got a spot behind the camera i've got another board which i will use I'll it out and i'll show you everything as i go but i'm going to use another board for christmas card ideas and my ideas will come from the lovely bumper crop we had of chilies and peppers. I did lots of sketching in the greenhouse. We grew aubergines for the first time this year and I went out and sketched those. I have, this morning, I've been through my photographs and I've printed out some, these are pages possibly from a concertina. I was experimenting with a little bit of collage at the time. I've printed out some early paintings of chilies. These were some photographs of the, I was in there sketching in the greenhouse. So these were my photographs that I took to help me with the paintings. I've got that is one of the finished paintings. That's, uh, I did a series they sold, except for one. It's so strange, you know. My favorite board with the chilies and the peppers didn't sell. <laughs> the others, I, I, I really liked all of them, but that was my particular favorite and it didn't sell. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna hang on to that and have that in the kitchen. I will bring that up and let it hang up here for a little bit to help me. So I'm going to set up an ideas board with my veggies and I know my colour theme. I know I'm it's red and green, black, red and green, uh, with a little bit of something sprinkled in, who knows? But I actually thought I'm going to approach it from the beginning, I'm going to approach it. The ingredients are ideas board, concertina book, and then just play. So I'll use watercolours, acrylics, collage. I'm really excited. I never thought I'd say this. I've, a, I never thought I'd be making a Christmas card. And B, I never thought I'd be so excited <laughs> about the whole project. I'm, I'm just so excited to have a concertina full of veg. <laughs> so that's my plan. That's my plan this morning. I will turn the camera around, I'll fix up a board and we'll see how we go. Okay.
Okay, so I forgot. I've got a little bit in the concertina. Where th that was the... Yeah, maybe the, the, these were stages of progress until I got to that. Uh, it's amazing, you just forget so quickly. Got a few images. I will I will fetch the painting and bring that up because I think I'm looking for a single motif on each card. Nothing over complicated. I want to keep it quite free, quite loose. So we'll see how that plays out. Also last night I found that. I'll just put that up. I was just messing around with the small acrylics. And I think it's looking like I'm going to start with the chilies. We'll see. I brought my painting up and I've made a start on the vegetable wall. I think you'll be getting impatient with me. I've got my board set up and I've come in this morning with concertina. I set up the camera on the overhead Heath Robinson stick, I looked over here and thought, I need to be working here. I'm, I'm going to move the two trolleys. I'm going to wheel that carefully over here. I've got some sunshine coming in here, which is just lovely. I can't believe I'm going to do it, but that's what I'm going to do first this morning. I want to get it right.
a little beginning. I think I need to let that dry. I've put a little bit more down. Having said I'd let it dry, I couldn't leave it alone. And I quite like this stage. This is Elmer's clear glue. And I'm thinking, let's just put a little bit there. I'm wondering if that little bit It's tricky to see. I'm just trying to feel where that glue sits. Um, right. and other artists often talk about taking a, a deeper dive into your subject. You know, chili is a chili and a red pepper is a red pepper. But to me, <laughs> to me, they've got so much to say. I'm enjoying a reconnection. It's just a nice thing sometimes to, to pick up an old thread and then uh, with fresh eyes, see to see where it might like to go. I'm not hating the glitter, so that's, that's a, a win. As always, thank you for the fantastically kind comments. When I started this YouTube channel, I never had a plan. <laughs> Every, all the advice is you must have a plan. You must know what you're going to say. And all I knew was that I wanted to share. I found the confidence to speak to the camera. I don't have the confidence. If, if I was sitting in front of a group of people, I'd have no confidence to talk whatsoever. But strangely, in, my, in the safety of my cabin, <laughs> with just that lens to look at, I seem to be able to communicate as someone who has been totally blocked. I, I wanted to see if I could inspire just a tiny bit to be able to say and show what I'm up to each week. It's fantastic to have support. We were chatting at the weekend. We took the dog for a walk. Our nearest local park is Dunorland in Tunbridge Well. We just picked a window in between showers and the sun came out and the autumn colours were glorious. I could have and probably should have done a little bit of filming just to, to bring in a little bit of other life. And then one side of me says, but that's got nothing to do with art. And then the other side says, but I draw inspiration from being out. Being out, everywhere you go, you draw inspiration. So I'm dwelling on that. I'm dwelling on taking you out and about. That's in my mind. But next week, I will film my progress in the concertina. I'm hoping I'll have a few cards to show you. So until next week, thank you for coming back. Come back next week. Let's see how the card challenge is going and have a lovely week yourselves. Enjoy the autumn days and I will see you next week. Thanks then, bye.